in a season where Ohio's vision never came to fruition. It was not easy for any, anybody in the program to accept what uh, uh, what kind of happened to us in terms of not getting getting it done at the level that we uh, uh, believed we were going to get it done at. Um, it would have been very easy to to kind of let things slide, not. Uh, come out to practice with the same kind of enthusiasm and effort as if you're going down the stretch battling for a, a MAC championship. But this Ohio team made sure to finish strong. The pain and heartache of all the losses they endured this season fueled the Bobcats to go out on top. They didn't let that happen. You know, they, they came out every day with a lot of pride, ready to ready to go. And and if it was coming off a defeat, it was to bounce back. If it was coming off of a win, it was just to get better and win more. And while Ohio still chases the MAC championship, Solch's tenure has still been defined by winning. 11 winning seasons in his 15 seasons as head coach. Ohio had just 10 winning seasons in 43 years prior to Solch's arrival in Athens. And I felt all along that it, it was a school that we would be able to build uh, and have some kind of uh, repetition in terms of uh, big wins and wins that will move, move your program forward. Although that we, we weren't able to you know, win MAC championships while I was here, we, we were able to make history in a different way and win three bowl games, and so I'm proud to be a part of that. From Boise, Thomas Garbrick, WUV Sports.